Welcome to the reality, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. You'll do as you're told. Hello, welcome to the reality, guys, slash welcome back. This is the first time we have ever covered the show, The Ultimate Fighter. I'm Brett, here to talk about the show with Kevin. I'm a longtime fan. I've seen every season. Kevin, I think this is your first season, right, watching the show? Yeah, yeah. I never, I never like, really had cable growing up. It, it, has this, like, been going every year and i just um missed it or? so it's it's hit or miss like it, I, it either was twice a year once a year and then once every three years they kind of like they didn't follow wow. that regular reality tv programming kind of like these other shows where they're either on or they're canceled this one's always just kind of been they'll do it when they can do it and then if something stops them they'll have like a three-year hiatus so gotcha i do have some questions um I guess like like is McGregor always the McGregor and who's the other guy again? Um, Michael Ch yeah, so Michael Chandler and Conor McGregor. So we I wanted to cover this season for sure because McGregor he's only coached one season before, and it was gotcha. first Uriah Faber, and they didn't even fight. So I think they were the only or one of the only pairings of coaches that didn't actually have to fight each other. So you oh oh that's pretty cool. So like we'll we'll probably eventually or there's a chance we would see them fight so they are gonna fight they're gonna fight oh, okay cool november december so yeah if anyone's watching that isn't familiar with the show format these are two ufc fighters they're champions or veterans whoever the coaches are they basically come in they coach against each other they pick their teams it's always different weight classes sometimes you got guys sometimes you got girls and then at the end of doing this tournament style fighting they they fight each other like several months later Gotcha. So now, now that the one is eliminated, do they bring on somebody now? No. So the way that works is if you've never seen it before, basically the, like we have the whole form, the tournament format, the, the semifinal, what the quarterfinals, preliminaries, whatever it's called. And so after everybody's fight, all the winners will then start fighting each other and the losers, they stay in the house and they train. So oh, oh, this cool. guy okay. tonight, he's still going to be on the whole show. He just is out of the tournament of fighting. And gotcha. so, so he's still like learning. Could he still get like a, I'm assuming the end result of this is a contract. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're, okay. the, so we have 155 uh, lightweight and then 135 bantam weights are the two weight classes. So you're going to have a champ. The winner of this whole show is going to get a contract for both weight classes. And that's, okay. usually, they usually have uh two different weight classes so two different winners each season. yeah because the guy that won was like i'm not gonna mess this up again or something like that so i was like i'm assuming that's what it was he was trying to he's trying to get back in there and that was another thing like i just assumed like the um like the small clips that i've seen i just assumed that these were all, all amateurs none of them had like any contract prior to this so it's kind of sick that like people that have lost their chance they kind of get a second chance here Right. It's 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 interesting. It's it's like a really cool format. It's like the challenge on steroids, really. <laughs> like it's yeah, kind of sad. Yeah, they were trying to say it's not reality TV. I'm like, it's reality TV, man. They're doing confessionals. We're following them. We get their backstories. Just instead of like a elimination competition, they straight up fight each other to get. Them. Yeah, <laughs> and I've seen I've seen like clips in the past of them like even like being drunk in houses and stuff and. Uh, the one clip that like comes to mind is this dude that just like guaranteed he could never be knocked out. And then he convinces some guy to actually punch him. So he punches him and knocks him out in the bathroom. Um, I'm looking for Let me bang bro guy. <laughs> it, 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 yeah. Yeah. He's like a blonde dude. I oh, think, I... or maybe he was bald. Um, Back in the but... day, there used to be a lot of more, there used to be a lot of uh, antics. Nowadays it's a little more professional. So we may not get that. Like, oh, damn. We got the backstories from the families. And like they're, it's like Survivor, man, where they're getting like, oh, my family motivates me to win and to do this, I'm doing this for my kids. So right, right, right. It's, it's, all, it's, it's all PC. Not, yeah, it's not as much fun as when they just get blackout. And mm -hmm. That's what I would like to say. We need to bring those shows back. Like we need, we need more of that. Right. I mean, this, for this, this is these guys' careers at this point. So back in the day, it was their careers, but it was a little more – you know, loose. They didn't take it as seriously. Well, so. yeah, and the UFC wasn't as big then, so it wasn't like right. Like yeah. they they were bringing in random fighters at at any whim. You know what I mean? 
which I, that was another thing I want to bring up. That old school, you know, on that one wall in there in the house, the old school like logo of the US or the missed it. Was yeah, it was yeah. it like the big great? Yeah, thing? the big dude. Yeah, I miss that. I like that thing. Yeah, so that was a sick house too, by the way. So yeah. I most of the houses I think look relatively the same. This might be the first two story like pool balcony level. They've had pools before, but I've never seen it look kind of as fancy and brand new and like a two story deck. So, gotcha. so it'll be fun to see if we get any drama in the house. Dude, the facility there is awesome. They have like a sauna. Yeah. Obviously a weight room and stuff. It looks sick. Yeah. I mean, the purpose of the show isn't to entertain us, it's to get a contract for the for the US. Right. Like you were saying earlier, so with the veterans, so a lot of times they do like they'll usually bring in not amateurs, they'll bring in professional fighters from smaller organizations that are good and they're, you know, they're getting looks by the UFC, kind of getting scouted. They'll bring him in. So uh McGregor, he actually got the first pick and he chose the prospect team. So all his guys are for 155 are gonna be guys that have been fighting regionally, professionally still. And then um all the guys on Chandler's team. So it ended up Chandler just decided to take the vets for both weight classes. All those guys have fought in the UFC before. And for one reason or another, they got cut. And so, yeah, this is their opportunity to get back in, which we've had a season in the past where it was like a comeback season. So if they got cut, they got a second chance. But usually it is just like pure prospects that are on this show. Well, in your mind, what would you uh, – in my head, I would think that like it would probably be smarter to go for the people that have already been in. Do, who would you have gone with? prospects or choice i mean ugh. if i didn't know anything about the prospects i would probably go with these vets or at least the lightweight vets so i know all, all the lightweight vets i'm familiar with like the guy that fought tonight roosevelt roberts and they're all pretty good so i mean yeah i don't know anything about the new guys but i know that the old guys have the potential to win and might have the edge just because i know what they're capable of so, i wish i could watch ufc a lot more um i mean i do as much as i can but um i'm not i wouldn't i certainly wouldn't say i'm a, like an avid fan like i don't know names well and things like that like yourself so yeah, hopefully yeah. this kind of gets it kind of gets me like more into it you know right yeah like i mean i don't know anybody on the on mcgregor's team <laughs> but i i know most of the guys on chandler's team are familiar with their names so and um mcgregor's getting a lot of like publicity right now with that that mini series that just dropped on Netflix. Okay. Now this, I haven't. But he's not this. even fighting. I watched it. It was pretty good. It, it's like his whole career, like from like 2016 to current. Like all the injuries he went through and all the different stuff. That's cool. Okay. No, I mean these people right. live a life, bro. The, these people live like it's not. It, it is not pretty. Like it, it has to be just tough. You know what I mean? Like this sport is tough. Yeah, back in the day when I wanted to wanted to get into fighting, right when I went into college, and then just, dude, it's it's tough. Just just practicing, just going to practice every day and staying consistent, because you're like, and not getting injured. Practice, or I could like go get drunk with my frat <sighs> and chase tail. So <laughs> yeah, and not get injured. Like yeah. McGregor's doing like he was doing like uh very like standard stuff, and the one thing he was wearing a pad and everything, and the next thing you know is. His like toe is dislocated from his foot, and and like that just sets you back so much. And you're like, holy god! Like and he was do like he was like shadow boxing. You know what I mean? So like he's not as glamorous. The the payday, honestly, the payday for any fight makes sense for the amount that you put yourself through just to like get there. You know, you think that, but actually, so I I think the like these. So these guys, whoever wins this will get a contract. So I think it's six figures, but it's broken over three fights. So they get, I think they're only guaranteed six figures to fight three fights. So 33 to show times three fights. And then most. What do they have to do? They have to win three of them or two of them or. I, they're guaranteed. So I, I'm not super. I think with this type of contract, they're guaranteed three fights and each fight they can at a minimum earn 33,000. And then they would probably get a win bonus. But there's there's like a standard contract where if a new guy is brand new to the UFC, I'm pretty sure they get 15 and 15. So if I was just a Joe Schmo like from the regional circuit and they gave me a fight, 
I'd make 15 to show 15 to win. And then if I lost, wow. oh, it cool. get rid of me right then and there. And I don't even have, to oh. okay. Interesting. Uh, these guys at least get a contract. Whoever, whoever wins this. And um, some, gotcha. of guys, some of these guys from the show, if they're good, even if they don't win the show, they might still get like one fight in the UFC to, you know, see what they got against someone else. So gotcha. all the guys that end up in the UFC from these shows that didn't even win. Do you like the way this works? Do you like the way that Dana like runs the whole thing and like the process that it takes? Dude, I love Dana. <clears throat> and Dana oh, so do I. So do I. Like um, I could name really a president or an owner of any other company other than Dana White and the man the man gets shit done and he's hilarious too at the same time. Yeah, so. he's a man. I like I him. That he's he's like the face of the whole UFC. Right. Yeah. No, he's the president, and a lot of companies. Like, if you ask me, who's the president of some random company? I have no idea. Honestly, he has like he has just so much power. Like, if, you know what I mean? Like, he's the end all be all when it comes to who gets contracts and whatnot. Right? There's really no I mean, other he, outside he, influences. He's got a he's got a team around him, <clears throat> a small group of guys that it seems like make the decisions. Like, he drops the names of like um dan dan shelby and uh hunter hunter something they, mm-hmm. they're like the trio or they got a fourth guy nick i think yeah so they make all the decisions pretty much very cool it's such a like being an outsider it's it's really cool to watch yeah my favorite sport combining my favorite sport with reality tv so my two <laughs> things it's yeah like, dude this is, this is right up your alley yeah so Let's see if we uh, get any get any views and likes from uh, our past subscribers, and let's see if we can get any new subscribers with the fact that this is like completely new reality show for us. But uh, before we jump off, I guess I guess the only really thing I wanted to cover was just uh, the fight itself. <laughs> yeah, or I guess we could talk about even who you like from what we've met. They really only talked about the two fighters. Yeah, so that's, so. that's the one thing that I'll give Bill credit for on it is like you don't get to know a lot about the people until it's their week. And then, you know, it's not like because they're not really an active player participant until it's their fight week necessarily. And they're just kind of side characters until that point. So are these guys like like boys in the house? Like when they're hanging out like and chilling, drinking, like training, are they like typically – good like or is that tough to do as a fighter like like you don't want to know your opponents um so i'd say the teams usually stick together but then like you do have cross team dynamics of people being friends and stuff and there are a few seasons where um you'll have like a red and blue team guy will end up be being really good friends and then and they're forced to fight each other well Uh. that might happen too but i was just thinking like like one team will be like oh Bob from the red team is he's being buddy, buddy with the blue team. Screw him. We don't want to train around him and kick him off. Our, like there's been stuff where the, they like, don't like this guy because he's better friends with the other team where you had, uh, there was one season, there was a girl. I saw a clip recently, Lauren Murphy, where she basically told her coach, Eddie Alvarez that she's like, Hey Eddie. Yeah. I don't really want to be in your team anymore. You mind if I train with the other team? <laughs> so interesting. No hard, no hard feelings. I just want to train with them now. So hmm. you do stuff like that. Um, like we had a we had a cut in this one where there was like a country guy on uh, red team Chandler's team, and he's like, "Oh man, I'm glad I'm not on McGregor's team because I, I gel much more with uh, Chandler because they uh, okay. were more, you know, American like minded, yeah, American country boy, American, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do you like out of them? Like as uh, like in their career, do you like? Are you a McGregor guy? I know some people are like. I like both super of them. against. I McGregor. like both of them. I think I'd probably rather be on McGregor's team because it brings more eyes. So oh, gotcha. I Mc- See, McGregor- I mean, I've just always liked McGregor. I'm 100 percent Irish, so like this dude, like I can just, I love it. Like I love his accent. I love his attitude. Um, but he's all that. Also being said, he's not my favorite. Like. Like, I like style team, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Do what you're told. Mm hmm. He's a character. In so many ways, it's so UFC. I mean, uh, it's so like WWE. And like, there's a show to it, you know? And I like that, you know? 
No, yeah, with with other sports, a lot of times they're just they get forced to go into their interviews, and they're like, "I'm only here so I don't get fined." And then in the mm -hmm. U.S., they're encouraged to promote and sell themselves and stuff. So whenever you get the fun characters, it's exciting. So McGregor, of course, he did his whole thing. He's always been kind of like the bad boy, the funny guy. Chandler, he's just like a you know like an all American like good guy, and he's like inspirational stuff like that. So like John him. Cena, if you will. <laughs> so Michael Chandler's like or the Stone Cold local Baptist church like preacher that coaches wrestling. So oh <laughs> uh, okay, just I don't know. You'd have you'd have you'll have to see more of them, but um, yeah. And of course, he's kind of like he, he'll say one of his lines is "I'm wide eyed and bushy tailed" for. You know the Conor McGregor experience, and so he's just gotcha. glad, he's just glad that he's he's fighting McGregor because he's going to make a bunch of money off of that. Yeah, yeah. Red painting. Um, I guess another big thing that was brought up that I saw was um, McGregor not showing up for the weigh-ins. Now, is that really that big of a deal? I don't know. All all I, I could know. think about was the fact that they were weighing in at fifty minutes out of sixty minutes, and I was like one of these dudes is done i was like either either roosevelt's gonna knock out mcgregor's dude or mcgregor's dude is gonna slip in a submission and then because uh, because they'd be like they're like tired and like trying to make weight no just because there's 10 minutes left in the episode so I oh knew, yeah oh yeah 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 i thought the same. I, I was like oh this is gonna be a joke yeah i knew actually in my head i i i, I figured that there would be a fight but I, I didn't know if it was one of the shows where it's like and catch us next week for the fight and like it starts off with that next I week. Think so, and I was wondering, I'm like, is this longer than an hour? Because there's not enough time to fight. Unless they that, that fight, fight was so, yeah. it was so quick. And I didn't think he got knocked out, did you? Yeah, yeah, he he got clipped. I, it's it happened so fast. I watched like four times. Um, yeah, replay. But uh, he definitely, you know, would have gotten some more hammer fists if he didn't get the get the fight stopped. So yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was quick. So at, at the weigh-ins when they were up against each other, you know, it, it was like Roosevelt Roberts was like up here on the other dude. Yeah. He was uh yeah, he was much bigger. He's a tall, they were like, Oh, he's tall and skinny. I'm like, yeah, he's tall and skinny, but the white dude's like short and skinny <laughs> based off them standing next to each other. He was he was thin too, so and I knew he the only thing he could do to win was grapple and do uh, jujitsu because most of his wins were submissions. So who the white bull? The white guy. So gotcha. I was I was like Roosevelt, I'm I'm pretty sure Roosevelt's gonna knock him out. He could get caught in like a quick submission, but I don't know. I I, I was like, especially once we saw how big he was, I was like, I think he's gonna knock him out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he he did. What what was the final like time? It was 20 seconds maybe i was gonna say like 24 seconds or something like that it was it was quick he got him with that one that one hit to like the side of the head which you never really think is gonna like really stun somebody when you see it but right. then inevitably they're they're dazed and they're falling over mm -hmm. i it's, think like it was like four hits to zero on the feet <laughs> he, yeah he, yeah he like went in and out and like got him real quick and then when it did it again, and then that, that he boom, boom, just put him down. I mean, uh, that's pretty much it. Any any other thoughts? On this um, episode? overall, I'm I'm excited it's the the next couple of episodes. I mean, I came into this like blind, not knowing anything. Um, but I I left this one being like, I'll give this a shot, like a solid shot. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like call it off as being a bad show or anything like that. I'm, I'm curious to see what happens. Okay. I would, uh, again, I, I'm curious to see what they, what they do, like more personal stuff. Other than like, like I don't give a shit about like trying to find surfers on a snowy beach, like that type of stuff. Like, like have, have the, the altercation at home or like at the house. You know what I mean? Opposed to watching this dude do snow angels with his kid and telling me how much he loves his wife, yeah. you know. Well, that, I mean, that's the. I mean, that's the thing is like each episode you're going to get an inside look into like their life at home and what motivates them, stuff like that. And that's yeah, all, yeah. But you know, you do want drama and stuff, and you'll get a little bit, not too much. I mean, like the coaches are supposed to have drama with each other. 
some of the castmates, but you know. when it comes to McGregor, you know he's going to run his mouth. Something, something's going to be said to somebody. And the, okay. I mean, it, the, put these people uh, like the amount of testosterone in this in one joined area, something bound to happen. Yeah, no, I'm, McGregor. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I have a picture of McGregor. He he pushes Michael Chandler's face at some point, so I know something's going to go down. Oh, nice. All right, I'm down. It's like a little clip of Dana White running <laughs> to the uh, to the thing. <laughs> so something's going to happen. It's amazing. It's amazing to me how much uh, mobility McGregor has with how tight his suits are. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I heard that uh, something happens in the cage. I'm pretty sure, like uh, something with the spider, and he gets mad and goes in there. And he's so McGregor's got a guy on his team that he knows personally. And then there was another yeah, guy he was saying there. he trains with him already. Yeah. And there's another guy on Chandler's team who McGregor also knows and trains with. The guy on uh, Bracketone on Chandler's team, he won his seat. He was on Ultimate Fighter several years ago and won, but then was kind of just like meh in the UFC. Connor's guy, I think, based off looking at Connor's guy. I think he's going to get destroyed, and I think McGregor's going to run in for that fight, and something's going to happen. Gotcha. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to it, man. I thank you for the suggestion, honestly, especially on a Tuesday. Like, there, there's nothing else to watch. Like, I don't have anything to catch up on. It's perfect. Yeah, at this point, we should recommend any viewers to go watch our other content, which, yeah, you go watch old content we have, Survivor, The Challenge, 90 Day Fiance, Vanderpump bachelor or whatever but as far as what we're doing right now we're pretty much got nothing going on for the summer until claim to fame and bachelor come back which <laughs> if there's the ultimate fighter fans are watching this they probably never even seen those shows right right or survivor i guess amazing <laughs> amazing race is coming up yeah back in the fall mm-hmm. but uh yeah thanks for watching hopefully there's not too many com- competitions on the uh, the ultimate let fighter. us know who you think would win if you're still watching yeah please like comment subscribe uh if you want to maybe jo- join us for an episode and talk with us about the show since this is a new honestly movie. that would be awesome because I, I i mean the more people that i could i could learn from would be best if you if you think you have a uh, good idea or like help us out with this please let us know all right well thank you for watching catching catch you next week we'll do it next week too see ya